Hello and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4. I've got a new mod today, Empire. And it... It's not a normal mod, it's one of those mods that, uh... Takes place much further into the past. And of course, after the disappointment that was the previous game, uh, playing as Sweden, I'll be playing as Sweden again. So basically, uh, this mod is the second half of EU4, but in Hearts of Iron, I guess. And I'm not too familiar with that point in history. Not, not like I am with the 18 and 1900s, at least. But it would appear that in this scenario, the earliest scenario, my main goal is to win the Great Northern War. Which... And also maybe take Denmark? Or... Denmark, Norway? Yeah. Yeah, form Scandinavia, that's my goal. Form Scandinavia. I suppose I'll be learning about history this game. Ah, yes. The throw-up in the middle of Europe. The Holy Roman Empire. Is that a... does that exist? Have they implemented the Holy Roman Empire? Uh, well, it's a modifier that Austria gets. Boy, Sweden was really ahead of the times in 1699, weren't they? We already have coastal defense ships, made of metal, no less. Nope, I guess Sweden doesn't have any admirals yet. <laughs> Gotta make some. Oh, hey, a mechanic for fucking with Poland-Lithuania. Yes, it is about that time period, isn't it? Oh, no. Joseph Ferdinand has died. More at 11. All right, Charles XII, I know you've had a fun time, but... It's time to stop partying. You're a king. You can only do it sometimes. Let's try getting Denmark, Norway on my side instead of the Russians. You'll, you'll be friends with me, right? Oh, I should improve relations. Denmark accepts. Haha, <laughs> take that, Russia. You're not getting them on your side. Yo. It does mean I gave them Scania, though. Oh well. I can still form Scandinavia, which means I'll get it back eventually. We can we'll do both, of course. I wanna I want the most chances of this happening. They accept. But Denmark offers support in return for Scania. Um, you already have Scania. Sure. Oh. The Mughals are starting to look like uh, the Holy Roman Empire over here. Except they're at war. Oh, here we go. Russia's justifying. Oop, here we go. The Great Northern War has started. Oh, huh. well, this is going easy so far. Until I inevitably run out of supply. And the Pope is dead. That can't be good. It's a bad omen. Denmark proposes Kalmar Alliance. Well, we were in an alliance together. Okay. I'll... S I'll make you the alliance and let you name it this time. <laughs> Perlin gone. But the thirteen colonies could pitch it. I missed something. I missed something having to do with the thirteen colonies, because they don't exist now. <laughs> hmm. And the Dutch have declared bankruptcy. Uh oh. Nothing, nothing good can come up the Dutch declaring bankruptcy. Built the fifth, crowned king of Spain. Oh, things are about to get messy. 
and I won't be involved. I'm busy. Curland gone again. Curland here. Yeah, I'm trying to form Scandinavia. I'm not giving my sovereignty up to you. Also, why does Russia get this event? Why is it saying Russia gets the event Sweden refuses? Yeah, it would cause me to get annexed by Denmark, Norway. No, 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 I'm annexing you. I just gotta wait for Frederick IV to come to power, then I'll let him have a little accident. <clears throat> oh, hey, I've taken Moscow. Oh, good, I can assume faction control now. I'm sorry, Denmark, Norway, but I'm in charge. I am the captain now. And there wasn't a point where I wasn't the captain. Kernland not here. How many times is that? Great march to Moscow. Um, where did it take in Moscow? Oop, here we go. The war of the Spanish succession has begun. Oop, Hungary's here. <laughs> and they want their independence. Time for Poland to get a little unstable. Well, more unstable than it already is. <laughs> uh, the Ottomans aren't feeling so good. They have a case of the Ottomans. Berlin gone. Again? I don't know what's going on over here. Well, it's time to dethrone August. August has had a good run, but it's time for September. It has happened! They have popped out! <laughs> well, that's what I've been waiting for. Let's finish them. And they've capitulated. Now, now all that's left to do is... Uh, this focus that uh, gives me the fate of Russia. I don't need to capitulate them. They declared war on Aragon. Is Spain not feeling too good? No, Spain's not feeling too good. Ooh. Mm. Here we go. The fate of Russia. What? What shall I do? You throw in Peter and watch the chaos? Do that and set up a puppet in Novgorod, or just take this stuff and then what? Just run Peter and watch the chaos. Or take it all. I'm not taking it all, though. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take this stuff and watch the chaos. Oh, yes, the Polish Lithuanian demands, of course. They are on my side. Mother <laughs> Gotta say, not a fan of the shape of the Warsaw Confederate. Oh, there's there it is. There's the explosion. The first to come out is Novgorod. Muscovy declared war on the Crimea. I think it's just Crimea, not the Crimea. Wait, that means. That means that Muscovy is also at war with one of the Ottomans. The red Ottomans, not the tan ones. Oh. Mongolia's got spat out too. Well, I suppose now all that's left to do is... Watch the chaos of the world while I wait for... While I wait for the next king of Denmark, Norway, so I can make him have an accident. Fame's not doing too hot. I've not, not capitulated yet. Moscovy has capitulated. Ye Yaroslav? What is Yaroslav? I don't know what a Yaroslav is. Oh, it's the city. Y sorry, Yaroslav. There's an L in the end I didn't see. Oh my god, Alex Jones is on this mod? Did he get a makeover? 
You look different. You don't look like the rambling madman on television that I know and love. Russia declared war on Saxony. Oh yes, I suppose Saxony is free now, since uh, Poland Lithuania doesn't exist. Is this war over yet? No, they're still fighting Yemen. And Crimea. Oh my god, France has made a naval invasion of Scotland. Oh, there goes Spain, finally. And Prussia's taken Saxony. Oh shit, a bunch of shit just happened. Oh god, what did they do to the Spanish Netherlands? Oh, wait. Oh, Spain stopped existing. It's all Aragon now. Oh no, it looks disgusting. Because they... Ugh, that's the problem with the new peace deals. That's the new peace deals right there that did that. Ugh, I'm not fixing that. If the AI wants the whole of Europe to look like the HRE, go for it. Oop, there goes Scotland. Being invaded by France. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, the Hungarians are invading Prussia now. The war, I think the war of the Spanish succession is over. And in the end, um, well, Spain stopped existing. And this was done to the Spanish Netherlands. Jesus Christ. Meanwhile, the war between Hungary and Prussia still rages because Hungary can't get to the rest of Prussia. Oh. And England just ate Scotland and shat out Wales. Why'd they shit out Wales? Austria just got spat back out. But they're still at war. Oh! Hungary must have been unable to garrison it. <laughs> so Austria just burst their way back out of Hungary's corpse. Oh, what just happened? Hungary declared war on Saxon? Oh, Saxony burst out as well. I thought Saxony was a part of Prussia. Oh well. You know what I think it's time for? It's time for some jolly colonization. Yes, let's do it. Did I do it right? I should have read the tooltip that appears at the beginning of the game about how to colonize. Colonialization results. Bad news? No! I'll just have to do some colonization again. Ugh. Go. Come on. Colonization. Damn it, colonization failed again. One more try. I colonized! Yay, colony! Can someone explain to me why Peru is up here in Panama? What? I forgot to look over here when, uh, when the War of Spanish Succession was over. Yeah, England took it all, huh. They lost the 13 colonies almost completely. Oh no, they're still at war with them. What a mess. Oh hey, Spain popped back out of Aragon. Do they have a focus tree? No, it is a generic Spain. With Shadow Man himself. Diego... France has annexed the Papal States. I don't even know what wars are what anymore. This can't be good.
Peru. Oh my god. Ah yes, this Peru capitulated. And all they took was the Panama Canal. Wait. Wait, wait a minute. The Panama Canal. What? <coughs> I'm sorry. Why does the Panama Canal exist? It's 1706. That thing's not going to be built for another 200 years. Oh, God. What other canals exist? It. The Kiel Canal is also here. Hmm. Well, the... Mod is still in development. God, is the Suez here? And the Suez is here. Yep. France has declared war on the United Provinces. What? Okay, they're back at war with England. It's a uh, befriend Prussia. Yeah. Want to switch sides to a third one? Wait a minute. Ha Has the War of the Spanish Succession started again? They're both at war. Both sides are at war with each other again. And Austria still hasn't finished off Hungary. And Portugal's off doing their own thing. And also at war with... Okay. Okay. Well, I suppose since the War of the Spanish Succession 2 Electric Boogaloo is going on, I should intervene since I missed my opportunity the first time. So I'm going to intervene against France. Austria has declared war on the Ottomans. Why? Okay. <laughs> Austria's just making it more complicated. Oh, and everybody's capitulating. Alright, war goals here. I'm coming for you, France, if only to spice things up a bit. I have just realized that there are actually two Spains. There's the original Spain, and then there's the Spain that broke free of Aragon. There are two different Spains. Thanks for the support, Otto. I think you'd be... Why, why are the Ottomans supporting me? I'm pretty sure they should be on the side of France in this case, considering Austria's at war with France and Austria's at war with them, the Ottomans. I don't get this world. And at this point in the game, I think I am buff enough to <laughs> just fucking run. Whoops, my front line disappeared. Thank you, game. I wanted my front line to disappear. So I have discovered a flaw in my plan to wait for uh, the new king of Denmark, Norway. Uh... I looked it up on Wikipedia, and Christian V is supposed to be dead by now. He was supposed to have died in 1699, which begs the question, what is he doing here, and when is his successor getting here? Because I need his successor to get here so I can give him an unfortunate accent. And an accent? Accident. I'm sure his accent is already unfortunate. I need to give him an unfortunate accident, and then inherit the kingdom. Is it possible that I actually can't do that because the he, he didn't die when he was supposed to? France is gone. Yeah, that's good. And this is the horror I have created. I, I gave Alsace-Lorraine to the Prussians. Except for this part, because it's a part of Champagne for some reason. I've liberated Brittany. Somebody else... Made revolutionary France. Oh, it was the Dutch, of course. There you go. This time, France can't be a problem. Do you have a focus tree? No, you don't, which means you're a different France. There you go. The French can't cause problems again. because they don't. Austria took most of France. This is a good world. Also, I liberated, liberated the Papal States. Uh, Austria is still at war with the Ottomans. And you're still alive. You know what? I'm just gonna kick. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck wait. F fuck waiting for something to happen. 
I'm kicking him from the faction and no fucking kill him. All right, Denmark, your king is uh, naturally immortal, so I have to declare war on you. Please take it personally, I guess. I don't know. And there they go. There we go. Mission accomplished. Finally, I can do the prepare closer union focus. Oh, hey, the, the immortal Christian V is still in power. I have taken you off into consideration, and I have made the decision that I want you to fuck off. All right, now to speed run integrating my subject. Oh, great. Now there's two of them. Also, I'm fairly sure that they're not 13 colonies, but one each. And they are an integrated puppet now. Which means I can hit this button. And in the next clip, I will have formed the Scandinavia. Bam, Scandinavia. I did it. I tried to be peaceful, but... Christian V and his goddamn immortality. Well... Uh, that's all my goals achieved. Probably could have achieved that a few years ago if I'd realized that Christian V wasn't supposed to be immortal. But I didn't want to have to Google things in order to figure them out. So I, I had fun. This mod definitely needs some polish. And bug fixes. But it has potential. So I hope to be back at this mod again after an update. So I will see you all next time.